Who is the dominant side between Mayweather and McGregor? We will answer this question by analyzing the post-fight press conference, which, in theory, given the result, should give an advantage to Mayweather. But let's see. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, to the podium, I'd like to call up uh, the notorious one, Conor McGregor. What's up, everybody? Hello. Put my whiskey down, notorious Irish. So who did you think was the most dominant there? Well, I believe it was McGregor, and we will see now why. Introducing and calling people on stage gives you a natural position of power. Do it poorly, though, and you roll the red carpet for someone else to steal your show. Mayweather does exactly that. He uses filler words such as, ah, uh, you know, his end gestures are quick and he bobs back and forth on his position, all of which are signs of unconfidence. People who make strong, definite movements are seen as more dominant. Mayweather seems to be doing the opposite. He appears in a rush to shake hands with McGregor, so much so that he goes in the wrong direction. The eighth law of the 48 laws of power says, let other people come to you. Notice how far Mayweather goes from the lectern instead. Going far towards someone says, I am willing to inconvenience myself for you. And it shows a very subservient behavior. Now, finally, Mayweather's first confident and dominant move. It turns and invites McGregor to the stand. Showing people the way demonstrates territoriality. It's a bit like saying, this is my hood, homie, sit where I tell you. McGregor plays the social game well, though, and does exactly what you're supposed to do in a similar situation. He completely ignores Mayweather and focuses instead on himself and on making a bold entrance. McGregor steals the show with his entrance indeed, and Mayweather makes a further mistake. Dominant people usually know where they want to go and have no qualms in moving others to get there. Mayweather does just the opposite though. He's the winner here. He should feel like owning that stage. And yet, there he is, taking the wrong turn again and then making himself smaller just to get by and even looking down. All of them indicators of rather low confidence. And now let the real fight begin. The handshake. McGregor is outstretched, Mayweather is comfortable, Mayweather has an upper hand and even puts a controlling hand on McGregor's elbow. He couldn't have a better start. <laughs> McGregor pulls Mayweather's arm in, well done, and Mayweather moves his hand over his shoulder, more body style but equally controlling. Mayweather still has the edge. By the way, you can see it's true that these two don't like each other by the distance that they keep between each other. McGregor breaks the unrecoverable handshake shambles he was mired in and moves into close quarters. Good call. Mayweather with the upper arm is still better off though. Mayweather has a good boy look. McGregor better posture and more of a predator look. He's getting better now. Whoop, big change. McGregor goes first. Can be dangerous if nobody follows you. Oops, Mayweather bulks a little bit. Is he gonna follow? Is he gonna follow? And yes, he does. McGregor seems to nod as if to say, good boy. Now that he got his opponent to follow his lead, indeed, they are pretty much even. What's gonna happen next? Oops, a bow by McGregor and a pat by Mayweather. Mayweather's back ahead. Big round of applause for two classy, classy gentlemen. McGregor is not gonna let him get away with that though. He grabs Mayweather and pulls him in. You can clearly see Mayweather's hand on McGregor's chest, which is placed there to keep the distances. And the commentator rambling on classy, classy gentleman shows he's got no clue as to what's going on here. Mayweather is less and less comfortable. He goes to move away, but McGregor hooks him in and reels him back in. 
and the pack on the back to boot. Mayweather tries to touch him back again last, but he looks tame and timid by comparison. When someone moves you around physically and does so with impunity, the person kind of is the most dominant by default. McGregor, in the end, was the most dominant in this handshake. So to sum it all up, while McGregor obviously lost in the ring, he certainly was the most confident and dominant of this press conference. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best.